displaced, you know, they shouldn't have that kind of opportunity. And Ms. Phillips, tell us about the impact that you think this initiative has had so far and in what areas have you all been uh, engaged in? Okay, okay um, based on our summer camp and our carnival caravan, we think that we have in, well, empower the youths by going out to schools um, around the carnival time, giving safety tips, things that they should not indulge in. I think that we are working more with youths in terms of curbing the drug problem and drug abuse. And that's the, that's the main focus of Scarborough and Environs, to reduce the drug use among youths, it's ha it has rise in terms of the adult use um, from, youth, um, from youths. So we have um, more youths taking part in drug use, alcohol, and these kinds of things. So we want to create a community kind of care program that caters for this. Our summer camp treats with um, parents and reducing negligence scenarios. The camp is run for two months and gives parents a little ease of studying where to leave their kids. Wow, so it's, it's actually just not about feeding the poor. It's, 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 it's a lot of different areas that, that, that you all plan yes, to, it is. Yes, to focus it is. on. What about counseling or psychological intervention? Well, we have individual counseling. This is conducted by my father, Mr. Phillips, and we, we, um, he does home counseling, he does individual counseling at the office, which is located behind Tambrin. So we, we have a little bit of counseling now and then. We have our community work that we go into communities and speak with the addicts, try to, um, convince them to stop using and these kind of stuff. Can you tell us what is in place for this year's Feeding the Poor project? Oh, well, the Feeding the Poor project, we have the hampers that we will be giving away to single parents. We have clothing, we have um, grooming as well. There, is, there will be somebody coming to do haircuts, makeup, we have already invited all the, um, most of the displaced people within the Scarborough environs area. They are very um, overwhelmed, and that's about it. And personally, you know, being part of this, how do you feel? Oh, it's we. Uh, <laughs> our parents were addicts. It's a very passionate part of me. And it's great. I love working with the kids. I, I have my young leaders um, group. They are advocates. They are willing. And they like the movement. Wow. I'm just still blown away by the fact that you just said your parents were addicts and this is where it started. Yes. You know, very meaningful, I'm sure. And uh, Ms. Phillips, tell us a little bit about, you know, how you feel to be part of this. Okay, well, you know, this is a one day at a time thing. You know, we can't, you know, addiction is a disease and we want people to understand that. You know, people walk on the streets and they say, you know, you know, why doesn't this person stop doing this? You know, it's easy, but they don't understand the intricacies of it. So we reach out to the addicts and, you know, we have a conversation. We know that there's track um, up at the old hospital that operates the rehabilitation center. And you know, we try to get people to move from being, you know, not noticed, you know, people looking at them in this kind of way that you are not a person anymore, that you can't have a conversation with them. And we are starting the conversation at our level 
so that they could reach that point of probably recovery. Making a difference. So tell us our contact information. How can people contact you to be part of this? Okay, well, you can contact Linda or myself, Ayana, at 344-6171 or 360-3346. Or you can look us up at Scarborough and Environs Action Group on Facebook, and you can send us a message. Ladies, it was definitely a pleasure chatting with you. Thank you so Thank much you. for being part of our Thank program. You, great, great job. Thank, Thank you. you.